Uh, my name's Alan Cox. Thanks for being here. They said it there, but I'll say it again. Because why not? Say hi to um, Billy Willie by Squire Bill Squire. He's right over there. Yo, creepy hug. Mary Santora is in Midtown Manhattan. What up? And Poundcake's back in Studio G. Afternoon, white people. Because he's a real one. He is, is the saga of the car continuing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You sound pleased as punch about it, too. Well, just today, tomorrow. How next do you get day, to work? Whenever. Somebody picks you up? You take an Uber? I've been driving him. Oh, Bill's been bringing you. Yeah. All right. Now we have our little uh, chats. Catching you do. Up a you little bit. Yeah. So you guys have a conversation in the car? Yeah. I'm not going to just sit there quietly. It's oh, no, that's like the move. Office. You sit there absolutely quiet. Like our office used to be. Yeah. Carpool Billy Oki? Mm. No. No. What do you guys do in the car? You talk about life? Do you talk about love? Do you talk about... <laughs> today uh, we're talking about Mary. Hey! <laughs> talking about Mary today. What did you say? <laughs> Nothing I wouldn't say to your face. Well, then say it to my face. Uh, <laughs> say it right wait, here to wait. her face. <laughs> Pounke, are you okay saying these things? <gasps> what did you say? I didn't say anything. We made bets. <laughs> On what? <laughs> well, uh, I said... <laughs> no, I'm not saying it. Shut up, Bill. <laughs> say it right now! Are you kidding me? Uh, I, I bet your car would get stolen. That's a nice thing. It's a nice Bef- thing. Nice thing I'm, not, I'm not wanting it to get stolen. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in my defense, my thing was nicer than pound cakes. Pound cake, tell her what you bet. No, I'm not betting that. Yeah, see, you're say throwing it. him under the bus, and he doesn't want to say. Tell me what you said, Cody. I didn't say anything. Say it to my face. I, I bet that your car was not going to get stolen in the first month. But That's what did what you I bet? <laughs> that I was going to move home or that nobody would think I was funny or this nope. dumb bitch going to fall down and get MRSA? No, quite the opposite. <laughs> MRSA. How did you land on MRSA? I don't know. There's for signs his bet. for it. There's signs for it here. Oh, really? There's still MRSA yeah. signs. All Where right. like, cover your wounds. <laughs> yeah. Well, there are a lot of open wounds there in New York. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I'll tell you. I'll just tell you off air. Talk just tell her. Just say it. I don't no, care. No, if it no. happens off air, nobody cares. Well, no, I didn't plan on saying it, Bill. <laughs> well, Alan, okay, doesn't Alan knows be... how to pry stuff out of me. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, pry it out. <laughs> it really did. I worked hard. Did. Yep, I got all my scraping just tools out. And, quit uh, being a little punk and say it. I said that you might find some arm candy in, in New York. That's what I was saying. Oh, you think me and Brian aren't going to last? Mm. Oh, mm. listen to this tea spiller. <laughs> He's like, I think she gonna find some harm. Listen, a lot of people, you have to admit the odds are against you, but a lot oh, yeah. of people beat the odds. And if you're committed to doing that, I guess, which I can only assume that you are. See, now mine's a little nicer now, isn't it, Mary? <laughs> yeah, Bill know. just went for the car. Mm, yeah. Pound cake comes stolen. knives out. <laughs> Cody wants that to happen so he can steal Brian. I was just like, I know she's a bitch, and I, she moved away, and she didn't care about any of that. And I know she's a bitch, is what he says. And you don't have to tolerate that. You deserve better. Oh, this is the conversation you're having with Brian. Brian. Right, yeah. that's him talking to yes, That's not yes. him talking to your face right now. That's him mm-hmm. having a conversation. This is when him working out the hypothetical conversations in his head mm-hmm. probably comes into play. He's already had this conversation. Did you, Barry, did you show Brian the picture of the porn star. <laughs> the, no, the, I didn't even bring it up. <laughs> you should have it probably didn't even occur to her five seconds after we talked about the <laughs> you guy. You should have showed him. Ash I Hendricks. I want to know what he says. Because I, I, I see the face. I'm like, oh, that's that looks like Brian. No, I didn't even didn't even mention it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how's that going to... Mary's been apartment hunting. That's why she oh sounds like God. she's... Are you doing the show lying on the floor of the studio? I wish. Yeah. I am friggin' exhausted. I only saw three today, and I'm tired. I have three today. I have four five tomorrow Mm -hmm. and then i have two on saturday are they all over the place or are they all in kind of a relatively they're uh, pretty much common area um because it's cheaper you get a lot more space and um it's not as long of a train ride into uh the studio every day whereas like we were thinking about brooklyn because there's a ton of comedy shows in brooklyn but if we were to live in brooklyn it would be over an hour for me to get to work every day right which is a ton like too much, you know. Whereas this is only like thirty minutes. Um, so the one I saw today was brand new, gorgeous. Nobody's ever lived there. You get an off street parking spot, like key fob entry, doorman, all that kind of stuff. Brand new building, but it was like a twenty minute walk to the train station. So it's like off the beaten path. It's not super close to it's the bars and restaurants. 
It's like, yeah, get a scooter. It's yeah, like, Bird um, just declared bankruptcy. You probably get one super cheap. Mm-hmm. There you go. Right off the rip. But it's like um, a residential area. It's really quiet, really nice. Five minutes from LaGuardia. But it's just like anywhere we would want to get, we'd have to walk like 15 or 20 minutes. Um, What's the matter with that? There's nothing wrong with that. It's just not as convenient as oh, other places, you know? And if you're so, coming home late from a show. It, yeah. that was the, That's the big thing is that walking 20 minutes at 1 in the morning from the train station isn't something I'm super comfortable with. Um, and then we saw, I saw a second place, and this guy was all over the place. This guy was a train wreck. It had an unreal view. I'll put the view on my Instagram story at Mary Santora Comedy. It was like the view from this rooftop of this apartment building was gorgeous. And, um, but when I get in there, the guy's like, oh, sorry, everything's a mess. The people just moved out. But like the grout in the bathroom was black. <laughs> I was like, there's, well, yeah, they just moved it. out. He hasn't cleaned the grout yet. Unless they've never updated it. In, like, the entire time that this has been an apartment, or maybe those people lived there 10 years. I have no yeah. idea. Yeah, grout can get dirty pretty quickly. Yeah. But the apartment was really not presentable. I would yeah. not have shown someone this apartment. And but that's then, how the market is, where they're like, well, I don't, don't got to clean it up. People want it. Well, and then I asked him, I was like, well, what are the dimensions on these bedrooms? Because the bedrooms had no closets. So then I'm like, now we have to account for getting, like, an armoire or a closet or some shelving or something. And this dude starts measuring with his feet. So he's going like <laughs> one foot, two foot. Yes. He's going heel hey, foot, to toe. Straw heel foot. To toe. And he's like, uh, they seem to be about 15 by eight. I'm like, you don't have a floor plan? Homie doesn't <laughs> even have a tape measure and he's no. showing an apartment. Mm-hmm. He's showing an apartment with his, like, showing me the measurement of the bedroom with his feet. Like you measure out a cornhole board, like how, how far apart you set up cornhole boards. Mary, so, I know you think I'm uh, against you right now because I said your car's going to get stolen before you and Brian break up. But yes. uh, I don't think you should take that apartment. I'm not going to. <laughs> Just, that was the thing. Like, I, I think he's going to be a bad landlord. Well, I'm I looking there's at a lot it. of red flags with that. It was a really nice, like, um, they had a workout center. The building was great. And mm-hmm. the view, um, I just put the view on my story. And it was... Uh, it was awesome. But I'm like, this is not worth this man measuring things with his feet. Because I have a feeling that that is how things are going to be handled here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if something goes wrong. I remember looking at an apartment. Gwen was with me. We are looking at an apartment uh, in Chicago. And the people were still there. They were going to be leaving. But they were just in their living room. There's a, a, the realty lady or whatever showing me the apartment. And the it's a guy and his wife or girlfriend. They looked like they were probably like mid-30s. Middle of the day, sitting on the couch playing video games. Yeah. <laughs> Blinds drawn. I'm like, what is going on in here? Did it smell in there? I, yeah, of course. These Ugh. two look like they hadn't gotten up all day long. I'm like, why are they here? I mean, there's right. a, usually they go, hey, we want to show the apartment. Could you step out for a little while? Whatever. Either they didn't ask them or these two were like, nope, they can come in and look. And so I'm like, poked my head in. Because if there's two people sitting there. I'm not going to walk through their entire place. I'm going to stand right in like front of the bedroom, TV. Yeah. No, I like stood there in the kitchen. I was like, okay, cool, thank you, and then walked right back out. I'm like, I'm not even going to, you know, you can't really get a good vibe on them. I had never had that happen before where the two people were just sitting there. Yeah, and they were like, are- yeah, well, look at whatever you got to look at. And I'm like, I think I already have, but thank you. So I'm I didn't not- even check the grout. I, their grout might have been, look at the grout. it might have been pristine for all I know. Doubtful. Those two people could have been fastidious in uh but they certainly didn't look like it and yeah it smelled i'm like homie open a window in here or something <laughs> He's god like, just got his feet on the coffee oh. table just crinkling his toes smelled like cool ranch <laughs> oh, and farts come on crinkling They're his toes sitting there playing I know, whatever the I hot know game at the time was there's a certain smell that comes with sitting on the couch all day playing video games and i know this because i lived in a house with five other college dudes and that's all they used to do <laughs> bong sitting there uh, yeah it's the smell game. of not moving stale yeah just stale don't open blinds or anything. <laughs> There's I, two that I'm seeing tomorrow morning that I'm like, the two that I'm seeing tomorrow morning, I'm seeing five in total tomorrow, but two of them I'm like really excited about. <laughs> so I'm hoping those two aren't as big of a disappointment as the ones I saw today, but we'll see. How better times. Yeah. I'm going to break here. If you want to send me a text for something, 35192 to get me there, alancoxshow.com. You can watch live. And you can leave messages on the iHeartRadio app if you listen there, and we'll be back. It's the Alan Cox Show. Everywhere on our free iHeartRadio app. Or whatever.